This video was sponsored by Algolaser. This is Algolaser Pixie, a super compact all-in-one laser engraving machine. It features a 10 watt diode laser module, full color touch screen, Wi-Fi connectivity and super useful air exhaust system. Today I would like to show you the whole unboxing experience and talk a bit about this device. Hello everyone, today I've got a brand new machine from Algo Laser. It's their new product called Algo Laser Pixie. The machine comes in two colors and I've got a black one. There is also a red one, but red doesn't look as good as black. There are also three laser combinations available and thankfully I've got the most powerful 10 watt. Alright, so let's open it. So the very first thing that you will see after opening the box is of course the manual. You will also find a pink metal stylus, which I don't think I will be using, but it's nice it's there. Of course there is also a thank you note that has all of the laser machines on it. Underneath all of that, there is this window panel that goes on top of the device. Let's remove rest of the foam and see what's underneath. You can already see the device itself. Of course there is still some more stuff inside. It looks like there is a whole bag of accessories included and I will take a closer look at them in a while. But first let's take out the machine. You can already see just how tiny it really is. There were also a couple of screws just laying around in the bottom and I don't really know what to do with them. There is also a lot more foam inside the device that needs to be removed before use. There is this big chunk directly in the middle and to be honest I have no idea how to remove it. So far my favorite thing about this device is this panel directly on the front that will shield your eyes from the laser. Finally I won't have to wear the glasses. There is also this plastic tube hidden right here which I'm guessing is for the air outlet. Algo laser of course included a small USB cable and I must say thank god the device uses USB-C. There is also this small plastic shield that you can install directly on the laser module. And of course, there is a power supply unit as well. This round piece right here is used to connect the flexible plastic tube directly to the air outlet. I must say, I really like the bottom plate. It's made entirely out of metal and has a nice grid layout on top of it. This basically means that you won't laser cut your floor while using it. As you can see, the other machines didn't have this feature. Alright, so I've got zero idea on how to remove this foam insert. I may have to read the manual after all. So the manual has all of their unboxing steps, but still it's not as easy as it seems. So I took a closer look at the device and as it turns out, the foam insert was held back by the laser module. So I may be stupid after all. So there's pretty much only one piece of the foam insert left. This can be easily removed by pulling back the laser gantry. After removing all of the foam inserts, I can now finally remove the protective films. The one thing I've noticed at this point is that this laser module seems super familiar. I think I've got the exact same one in my bigger algo laser device. I went straight to my workshop to check if my theory is correct. And as it turns out, it seems like it's exact same one as they've used before. However, the whole module seems slightly bigger. As you can see, the Pixie module is slightly shorter. Of course, it still is as powerful. When I was removing the protective film from the side windows, I've noticed this huge circular scratch. It may not be perfectly visible on camera, but it's definitely there. I think the panel got scratched when lifting it up. The scratch itself perfectly matches the position of the black plastic. You can actually see the scratch way better from the inside. Now let's take a moment to talk about the exhaust pipe. The whole device generates a lot of smoke which can easily stink up your house without the proper air ventilation. I really like that this machine has a proper ventilation. Since it was a huge deal breaker when I was first using the laser engravers and those have had zero ventilation. It says here in the manual that you can connect this pipe to air purifier or directly to the window. I will skip the air ventilation for now and I will go straight to powering the machine. It's a very basic process since you only connect the power supply and turn it on. Let's connect it to power real quick and let's see what we can do. 
You may have already noticed that the power switch is absolutely tiny. It's actually smaller than my finger, which is quite impressive since I have tiny hands. The first time you start a device, it will ask you to set up the pin code. You can set up whatever code you like, but I've read in the manual that if you lose the code, then you will have to contact the Algo Laser support. There is of course Wi-Fi connection on this device that you can use to connect to internet and get necessary software updates. This is pretty cool since most of the laser engravers on the market will rather use USB stick for that. While it's updating, let's take a closer look at the accessory bag. The very first thing I've grabbed is this small plastic brush that can be used to clean up after the laser engraving. Of course there is also a single Allen key for basic maintenance. They've also included things like sample materials, couple of zip ties, USB adapter and this small hammer thing that to be honest I'm not entirely sure what's it for. This semi-transparent red piece is a laser module shield that you can use when operating without the front panels. When you start the machine you may notice that the SD card is installed. I don't actually remember installing any of the SD cards and I don't think the machine has any built-in storage. There aren't any SD card slots on the back, but I've discovered that you can simply peel off the sticker to find one. So let's see what's on the SD card. As you can see there's a quite a lot of samples and most of them are basic examples that will work straight away with the sample materials that you get with the device. For the very first test I've chosen this Hello Kitty pendant. So when you start the engraving, the machine will ask you to focus the laser. This is actually super important, since if you won't focus the laser, it will not work properly. I've took a quick look at the manual and I now know what was the small hammer thing for. The laser focusing is actually super simple and well thought of. You basically move the laser module up, slide the hammer thing in between the material and the laser module and lower the laser module until it makes contact. This is very simple to do and it actually saves a lot of time. So after the laser calibration I can now remove the hammer thing and properly position the sample material. And now I can finally close the lid and start the engraving process. The machine starts engraving right away and you can basically sit back and enjoy the thing. It will take a while to finish, so let's come back in a moment and see how it went. And just like that the machine is finished with the engraving. You can now lift up the panels and take out the finished product. As you can see the quality is actually super impressive. It managed to cut out the wood without any hassle. Of course after the laser engraving you can use tiny brush to clean out any of the laser particles. Since I wanted to use the device indoors, I've designed a simple 3D printed exhaust system that will connect my machine directly to the window. This will completely eliminate any smoke inside my room. In case you don't know which settings will work properly with your material, there are built-in calibration tools that will help you select the correct parameters and get your project working perfectly each and every time. You can find them in the examples folder way at the bottom. Overall, it's a pretty cool device, it's super easy to use, doesn't take up a lot of space and works with a lot of materials. I can easily see myself using it daily on my projects, like my augmented reality devices or simple trinkets for my friends and family. I mainly make small parts, so the compact size of this device is a huge plus for me. I was also pleasantly surprised by the fact that it uses as powerful module as my other laser engraver. It's basically pointless to use the old device at this point since I can easily replace it with the Pixie. I forgot to mention that this engraver is super cheap as well. You can get it for as cheap as 160 USD. That's actually super cheap for all in one device that will engrave whatever you want with a single press of the button. I would highly recommend this device for anyone that need to make some precise shapes but doesn't want to invest in CNC router. Anyway that's all for today. Thanks for watching everyone and once again huge thanks to Algolaser for sponsoring this video.